in lesson five when you play the bottom line game with the students, I make sure that I have everything organized, divided, and put in bags for each um, for each table. So the game, the, the piece, um, the money, the cards and they're all separated and all divided and all organized by rubber bands. Um, it's an awful long time to get that organized if it's for the, with the kids if it's not already set up. So um, for that section I spend the time to get it organized. All I have to do is pass a whole section of information or uh, pass out a bag of game pieces to each group and then we can get started. I elicited the uh, help of my children to play the game before I played it with the class for the first time. It's a very busy game. There's lots of things going on. Everybody's table is going to be going at a different rate. Um, and I, I needed to walk through it before I uh, told the students how to do it. The other thing that I find um, that the kids need to do in order to make that game successful and, and accurate, as accurate as can be, is to keep great records. I talk, to, I talk a lot of talk about, um, through the whole program, I talk about keeping records. If it's not written down, it didn't happen. In business, if you didn't write down what your profit was, then it didn't happen. If you didn't write down your loss, it didn't happen. Um, I tell them I'm a millionaire. Well, no, I'm not a millionaire because it's not written down anywhere. I just said I'm a millionaire and they think that's really funny, but then they get it. Um, and when it comes to the game, the bottom line, it's got to be written down. And when they pull the card and it's a profit, it's an income or expense, it has to be specifically um, written down. Money and, um, amount needs to be specifically recorded so that when they get to the end of the game and they're totaling everything up to see if they've made a profit or a loss, their records are accurate. 